From Tatooine to Mustafa, the best of the Yadda Rim It's the one and only Star Bazaar, yeah Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Star Bazaar. Today we are talking about Battlefront 2's weapon problem and how to fix it. If you're wondering what weapon problem I'm talking about, it's the lack of weapons, or rather the feeling of the lack of weapons in the game. Battlefront 2 has four standard classes, each using a different type of weapon. Assaults use blaster rifles, heavies use heavy blasters, officers use blaster pistols, and specialists run sniper rifles. When playing in-game, you have the option to choose between four different available weapons for each class, making the total weapon count available at any time 16. That may seem like a good variety, but when you consider that the Battlefront 2 player base has been playing with these same exact weapons for almost 12 months now, you can see how 16 weapons get stale. The community has been practically begging DICE for new weapons at this point, and so far we haven't heard much back other than new weapons are on their radar, but they have no immediate plans. Well, I'm here today to offer a small solution that could hold the community over until they are ready to design and release new weapons. There are, in fact, more than 16 weapons in the game already, over twice that actually. It just seems like there is less than that simply because of the limiting nature of the class system. Each class has a default blaster, with the other three options being unlocked through gameplay. The default blaster, though, changes with the faction you are playing as. For example, when playing as an Assault for the Rebels, your default will be the A280C Blaster Rifle, but when you're the Empire, that will change to the E11. This is how it is with all classes within all factions. Each one gets their own default blaster, which in theory sounds cool, because it gives each faction a sense of uniqueness. The problem is, we have no control over which faction we get to play as, which means, even though there are available weapons in the game, just by the way it is set up, we will not get to use certain weapons, even if we're the right class. If you're an assault on the Empire, you will never get to try the First Order's F-11D, which I actually think is a better weapon than the Imperial's E-11. You'll never get to try the Separatist's E-5 or the Rebel A-280C. That's a bummer, and it really makes the amount of weapons in the game feel limited, even though there are actually over 30 playable weapons currently in Battlefront 2. Let's crunch it real quick. 24 default blasters, because there are 6 factions, each with 4 classes, each with their own default. Then, each class has 3 unlockable weapons shared between all factions, so an additional 12 that can be unlocked. That's a total of 36 playable weapons in Battlefront 2 in the game right now, and we're not even counting star cards and abilities like Infiltration, which brings out the EE4 or the Specialist Stinger Pistol. 36 weapons, yet it only feels like we have the option of 4 per class. That's wrong if you ask me, and is a serious waste of assets. That's already more weapons than Battlefront 2015 had, yet it definitely does not feel like it. Now, one obvious hitch here is that the defaults all have the same stats as each other. Even though I said earlier I think the F11 is better, it still has the same stats on that stat bar as the E11. This would obviously be a job for Battlefront 2's weapon designer, but my proposed solution is to make some basic changes to the default weapon stats so that they are all useful in different situations, and make all defaults available for all factions. That will bring the options of playable weapons per class up from 4 to 9. That's a huge increase in variety, with no addition of new weapons, merely changes to the weapons that already exist, and making them available to be used by all. Cross-era weapons shouldn't be a problem either, since we have cross-era heroes, and even the unlockable weapons are from various eras. In canon, a clone trooper has no business wielding an EL-16, but in Battlefront 2 it's no problem, so that really can't be used as an excuse to not do this. Drop a comment, and let me know if you think this is a good idea. I know there are some weapons I rarely ever use, like the DLT-19, because I rarely play heavy when I'm the Empire specifically, and Death Troopers are more my extraction guys. Making the DLT-19 available for all heavies gives them more options and doesn't make the weapons feel limited, or like you have to spend battle points just to try a different gun. I think it could work, though I'm completely ignorant when it comes to game development and I really don't know how practical this is from a development standpoint. But again, I'd love to hear your thoughts. It's just a shame that we do have a lot of options, they just feel so limited due to class and faction barriers. That will bring this short discussion to a close though. If you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button, and if this is your first time here, I hope you consider becoming a subscriber. I appreciate you all stopping by the bazaar. This has been your boy, Turkish Delight, and I will see you all out on the battlefront. Peace.